lighting is a fundamental and incredibly powerful tool when used in your artwork. I often think of painting as painting with light. It's this idea that underscores the vital role lighting plays in conveying emotions, setting moods, and telling stories through your artwork or even your photography. So today I thought I would talk a little bit about this and all the aspects of lighting and how they can affect the overall feeling of your paintings. And if you want to learn more about my process, feel free to go over to my Patreon page where I have a lot of in-depth tutorials and discussions about these very topics. The first thing I wanted to talk about as far as how lighting can affect your work is the emotional impact. There are so many different ways that lighting can evoke emotion and moods. For example, soft, diffused lighting with warm tones can create a kind of cozy and inviting atmosphere in your work, while harsh, cold lighting can convey tension or unease. The choice of lighting can immediately communicate the emotional context of an artwork. Now for me personally, like this artwork that I'm working on today, this one has a lot of contrast between the dark and the light. And this is something I really enjoy using for my work. The light is somewhere between kind of harsh, but not overly soft. I'm using a 12 inch by roughly six inch light box for this one. It's fairly small, but it creates a little bit of softness around the edges of those shadows around the nose and how it goes around the cheekbone. It isn't a point light, like a really small light bulb would create that really sharp lighting. And that's something I try to avoid It's going overly sharp. There is usually a need for some sort of softness in your light source so that you can get those nice transitions between the light and the shadow. But feel free to try all the different sizes out. Go from a smaller light bulb size and work your way up to just a window. If you have a window in your house, use that, put your subject next to the window, and that will create those nice soft shadows if you don't want to go to the trouble of buying a big light box that can achieve the same thing. Another aspect of lighting that can really change the overall feel of your painting is how you highlight the subject. Now for this painting in particular, I am highlighting the portrait or all the facial features are rather exposed in the light. There, there could be different amounts of exposure depending on the portrait I'm working on. But for this one, all the facial features are fully exposed for the most part. It's sort of a butterfly style patterning of lighting and it creates this sort of overall hopefulness, I would say, to this painting because she's looking up into the light and her face is fully exposed, it creates that sort of feeling of hope. Now, if she was tilted down and maybe the light was just glancing across parts of her face, that would create maybe a sadness or uh, some sort of other distraught feeling like that. And another aspect of lighting that definitely has a big place in my work is creating depth. And I sort of touched on this earlier, but lighting can add depth to a figurative painting by creating shadows and highlights. This depth can give a sense of dimension and make the artwork more engaging. For example, controlling the lighting, artists can guide the viewer's eye through the artwork, emphasizing certain elements and de-emphasizing others. Time of day is another aspect of lighting that can really create some unique lighting conditions. So say for instance, you use a soft warm light of the golden hour at sunset or sunrise, it can evoke a sense of nostalgia or romance while harsh midday sun might create a more dramatic or intense atmosphere. It all depends on how you approach this, how the subject is facing the light, maybe looking down or up, all these things come into play with these lighting situations, but the time of day overall can really change the overall feel of your painting. The next thing that I think really, for me, is one of my favorite things to play around with is storytelling through shadows. Every one of my paintings, shadows is a big factor in how I compose the overall portrait. If there is, say, 50% shadows to 50% light, it will create a certain feeling to the painting. If I say have maybe 75% of the painting in the shadows, it will create more and more drama within the painting. 
the other aspect of having a lot of shadows is you can really hide a lot of details. You can sort of put a lot of things in the background that maybe you don't want to emphasize. So this use of shadows and working within those shadows to maybe have some loose expressionist style brushstrokes can really add a nice layer of additional mystery to your painting. Color temperature is also very important to me when I'm creating my portraits, especially towards the beginning. Whenever I'm working on that first layer of the painting, like this one for instance, I am always trying to decide what I want the shadow color to be versus the more exposed areas of the painting. And I play around with this in Photoshop a lot of the time. I don't think I could ever have my models going into all these different light situations and be very efficient with my photography. But when I play around with it in Photoshop, I can try all kinds of different situations with my color temperatures. Now for me personally, I think that the colors really can affect the mood, but sometimes it really has more to do with how intense those colors are playing with each other. So if you have a nice cool color in the darks and you go all the way to the other side to the really warm colors and you make that a very intense shift, I find that to create a lot of interesting effects with mood so if you were to go into the nice warm tones in the light areas it might create a sense of coziness or nostalgia but with cool colors if you were to start with cool colors in the shadows but also stay a little bit cooler in the light areas it may feel more clinical or somber it really all depends on how those colors are playing with each other more than just the individual color by itself and finally, one of the last things that I feel is very important to how the lighting affects your portrait paintings is how aware the subject is to the lighting itself. For instance, this painting, she is looking right up into the light. She's very aware of it. She's almost just entranced by the light. Now let's say the opposite where she's looking away from the light she's looking down in a way that would give this feeling like she is maybe not in a great place she wants to hide she doesn't uh, really want to interact with the world all these kinds of feelings could potentially come about if she's not looking into the light whatsoever with all of that in mind, I think it's pretty obvious that storytelling is really greatly affected by the lighting. And if you are just getting started with your figurative painting or even landscape painting, still lifes, all of these do get affected by the lighting. So try a lot of different lighting sources out. Go through the motions of seeing what speaks to you because every artist is going to have their own lighting situations that they prefer. This painting in particular is just one of many ways I like to use lighting. If you do have any other questions or you do want to learn a little bit more about my process, feel free to reach out, put a comment down below. If you want to see some of my tutorials, check those out on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching another one of my painting videos. I will talk to you again next week.